Today we are in Provo, Utah, visiting one of the most innovating companies uh, specializing in designing and manufacturing a system to convert classic cars, but also trucks and boats into electric. Today we are meeting with Jake, the CEO. He's going to tell us everything about the company from when it started three years ago to where it's going. So let's check them out. So Jack, it's nice to see you. Last time I was here was over two years ago and the offices were not tiny, but it was significantly smaller than the premises you've got now in Provo, Utah. So let's go back to the history of the company, where you started and where maybe Hyperquat is going. Yeah, so you're, you're right. We've, we've definitely grown, we've expanded. We're in, we're in a completely different space and excited to, to show you around. You know, the company, you know, my, my intro into electrification really started in 2019. The company wasn't formed until 2021. And, and at the time, the goal was to really make electrification as a powertrain technology much more accessible. You know, simplify it um, down and, and also provide the entire kind of system you know, as, as a complete package, right? Okay. And that's not so, and, and we thought, we saw it going into conversions and we saw it going into, you know, potentially, you know, even some other like new vehicle platforms, okay. you know, really, really focusing just on, on the powertrain system technology. So and when you started the company, no one was pr offering uh, anywhere close to a complete system to be bolted on a, a car or a vehicle. No, exactly. I mean, you, you really either saw the components that were being supplied to tier one, large automotive OEMs, um, but they were very just individual components or, you know, we were pulling parts out of Tesla's and, and we were figuring out how to do it in a DIY form. And so what we thought was there's there was a better product solution uh, to be developed. And, and um, you know, over the last two and a half years, we've, we've gone through quite the adventure yeah. and journey. We've hit a lot of roadblocks and pain points, but, <laughs> you know, we're growing and there's a lot of really cool, exciting things happening. What make you trust back in the days that this would be an industry that, and the industry it became today. How were you convinced it would uh, be an industry? Yeah, I, I think, you know, I mean, we, we had this 120 year old powertrain technology, right? Internal combustion, burn fuels. And we were seeing a lot of the proof that electric was viable uh, in certain vehicle applications, mm -hmm. you know? So I think there was enough confidence that you know, we could we could take electric motors and batteries, and there were many other applications that could benefit from it. Um, and, and the world was starting to talk about it and, and adopt it and understand the technology better. So I don't think we believed that, you know, within a short period of time, everybody would go electric, right? But we knew it would be a part of the equation. And today, you know, Hypercraft's not just involved in, in electric powertrains only, we're also doing some work in hybrid. So okay. I think that, uh, you know, it just goes to show that you know, there's a lot of new great technology in, in powertrains and, you know, we're, we're excited to be a part of that. All so right. Speaking of which, uh, let's uh, check them out. Let's see what you produce here in Provo. As, well, from what I understand, you start from the cell up to producing packs that then can be implemented in conversion vehicle and brand new vehicles. We do, yeah, yeah. and excited to show kind of the process of that. You'll, you'll see some of the you know, the, the cell to module to pack construction that we do here. Um, also behind me, uh, you can see that we're, we're building wire harnesses for, for different vehicle platforms. And so we do a lot of the initial prototype harnesses and and, um, and then over in this area, we're doing a lot of the high power electronics and power distribution, you know, building the, the contactor boxes or high, high voltage junction boxes. And so there's a variety of things that we do here. Um, and then and then there's a couple of vehicles that we, we can take a look at. All right, let's check them out. So one of the, the things that we produce here at our Utah facility is the battery pack systems. And so behind me, they're, they're doing welding of modules, but we start with the cell. We assemble them into a module and we have a standardized module uh, design that, that we use in all the battery packs that we produce. And so this is a very, you know, the, the kind of first step. Um, and then as we go through the process, you know, kind of down the line, we do testing and validation, you know, of the modules, and so you can see some that are that are welded, uh, getting ready to be tested here. Um, and then on this side, uh, the next step for us is is the the foam potting. So all of our modules are are foam potted with a a fireproof foam, um, and that helps with you know the mechanical stability of the module, keeping them you know safe in, in high vibration, high impact. Uh, but also, if there's ever a problem with a cell, the, the foam prevents thermal propagation. Okay. And so we've we've done a lot of design and engineering work and testing and validation to make sure that kind of every part of the design is 
is really safe and, and great to go in any type of vehicle platform. Right. We also assemble a lot of the, the BMS and what we kind of call the power head of the battery pack. Um, and so, you know, as, as we walk down the line and the packs get assembled, we, we come down here and this is an example with the enclosure off of one of our battery packs. The unique thing about Hypercraft standard packs, which we call the Hyperpack, is that they're modular packs. Okay. So you can select you know, anywhere from you know, two packs up to 16 of them to go into a vehicle, and, and that gives you a completely different type of capacity as, as, you, as you stack them together. So what are the advantages of uh, opting for a modular system like this for not only uh, specialists, but also individual uh, converting their vehicles? Yeah, the, the benefit of the modular pack is, A, it's, it's safety, because this pack is fully enclosed it has integrated cooling uh, or thermal management. It has the integrated BMS. Uh, and and the, the high voltage and all the connections on the outside of the pack are, are plug and play. Um, so, so there's a huge amount of safety built into this. But they're small enough that they can be placed almost anywhere in a vehicle and connected together to build an entire pack system. So in, in a lot of existing vehicles, there's not room for one large battery pack, yes, yeah. right? And so we see people putting a lot of modules in and connecting the high voltage, and that can be really unsafe because you have exposed high voltage. So this gives a very safe but modular and flexible solution. And you have various sizes of packs. Yeah, we do. We have three different standard sizes. This is the compact, um, and this provides about six kilowatt hours of capacity per, and then we have a 10 kilowatt hour, and then we have a 25 kilowatt hour size. And, and we sell them in both a power and an energy version. So one that's higher energy density and for more lower power, long range applications, and one that's high power for racing or high performance applications. All right. So we know those uh, systems for their vehicle application, but do you have other applications? We do. So, you know, these packs are being used in many different types of vehicles. And so not just conversions or on-road kind of resto mods and and those types of vehicles, but also marine applications. So we have these packs and boats and, and some specialized vehicles uh, for, for military and defense applications. Any energy storage solution, like static energy storage solutions? Not yet, but the form factor and, and the way these packs are designed make them a great fit for that. So right. we've had quite a bit of interest in that area. So over in this area, we have some development packs that, that have been out, you know, tested in vehicles for a period of time and we get them back. And part of, part of our development process and quality control is to take things that were in vehicles and, and analyze them. So these came out of, of a boat that, that's been tested in the water. This is our large pack. We call it the Hyperpack Max. So each one of those is about 25 kilowatt hours of total capacity. Over here, there's four, the four black and red packs. The, those were tested in, in an ultra four off-road racing vehicle. So that those four packs make up uh, about 40 kilowatt hours of total capacity and uh, 800 volt system. Um, the, they've been tested beyond 15 G impact okay. in an off-road environment. Yeah. So high, high vibration and, and really extreme, extreme conditions. Condition, yeah. But do you then do you construct them, check them, uh, see what happened inside? Or? We do, yeah, we look for any type of potential failure, or kind of look to see how how the cells are, are operating, and um, so we'll deconstruct them and, and analyze them. So over, over in this area of, of the building, uh, we have, you know, sales and marketing, and we have our product product development teams and so some of our designers and then over here is is our engineering group uh, a lot of our engineers that are working on you know either you know system architecture or battery design or um, you know any of those types of, of activities software development um, and, and right behind me here you can see that this is a hybrid system that that we're working on developing so it's a, a diesel engine uh, that that's been mechanically integrated into an electric motor inverter setup you were telling me off camera that the team has been growing significantly for the last couple of years. Uh, are you hiring? Uh, if anyone wants to work at Hypercraft, should they apply? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're always looking for incredible talent uh, that, that are excited about, you know, not only the technology, but also the vehicle platforms that we design powertrains for. You know, this is a, a very exciting industry at a very exciting time. So we're always looking to, to hire great people. Could you share a little bit about the future of the company, and not only the company, but also where you see the future of conversion to EVs? Yeah, absolutely. So you know, you know, the the future is very exciting. You know, looking ahead, you know, there's a lot of unknowns still. You know, where things go, but what we do know is that as of today, 
um, it is much easier for people to gain access and education around this technology, the, the powertrains. And the products that are coming out, not just Hypercrafts, but other companies as well, are, are incredible products that are safe and easy to use. And that, that's exciting right now. In the future, I think we're going to see um, you know, a lot more uh, you know, integrations in the aftermarket and conversion world between internal combustion and, and electrification as hybrid technologies. Mm -hmm. um, I also think that we're going to see a lot more advancement in some of the software uh, and, and the way that people have access to manage these powertrains and how easy that is. So I think it's an exciting time for some of the tuners and calibrators in the future to get involved. And, and we'll probably see a lot more in the performance motorsport space as well and also the shift of the industry. When you see companies like Sierra, which uh, is a company you work with, going away from the gas option on their buggies to fully electric options, sh really shows where the industry is going. It, it does, and it, and it shows um, a, a lot of other things. And I'm glad you brought up Sierra because Sierra just formed a partnership with Nitro Cross uh, to race that vehicle platform in, in that closed course, you know, rally cross. Yeah series and that opportunity came up because they went electric okay and so you know electrification you know is opening a, a broader market um and places to go do things like race and and um in a lot of ways that vehicle electric is is way easier for the consumer because it's less maintenance uh, it's easier to drive we can have different power maps or power modes in the vehicle so it's safer for younger or entry-level drivers uh, but also very capable in performance that car weighs 1500 pounds and has has up to 300 horsepower <laughs> right so uh, it's incredibly fast and you know we're, we're super excited about customers that we have that we're working with like Sierra um, are you attending any shows um in the future, yeah. So there's a, there's a few really great shows that Hypercraft, uh, you know, is always committed to. SEMA being one of them. You know, we're really excited about being there and talking to people about products and technology and their projects that we can get involved and in how our products can be used. So that's a one great example. Jack, thank you very much for the quick tour. I know it was impromptu, but I uh, didn't want to pass by Provo without stopping and say hi. And I look forward to coming back again and see some of the vehicle you'd be helping build. <laughs> All right. So glad you came. It was great talking to you all right. thanks all right pretty exciting stuff if you like what you saw today and you want us to show you more of the behind the scene where uh, all those components and systems are built let us know in the comments below give us a like and we'll see you in the next one